please sit. Yeah, Rashikar, uh, could you please introduce about yourself? Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Myself, I'm Rashikar. I've done my graduation BA system in 2019, and uh, and uh, my education is BA system. And about my family background, my father is a businessman. I'm mom is housewife, and my I one elder brother. Okay, he's working in, a, in one of the delivery company. Okay, could you please explain about your technical skills? Technical skills. Yes, I have good knowledge in Power BI and SQL. Mm -hmm. I I know very well in Power BI, let's say DAX and also and data uh, mm -hmm. and also data concept, um, data model concept. Okay. Like a Snowflake schema. Okay. And a fact table like that. Mm -hmm. And I know very well visualizations, like a, like I know matrix and table, mm -hmm. the charts, mm -hmm. and Gauss chart, KPI chart. So I have good knowledge in in, in all visualizations. Okay. And in SQL. And I in the, I know where the SQL are good now. Like I know good. Like I have good from data commands, mm -hmm. TSQs and functions, and sub query. Line joins us. Okay, cool. So what is your strength and weakness, uh, Rasika? It's my strength. I have my strength is for patience. I will do anything with patience. No, I'm not taking any hurry work. If I need to take any decision, I will take patience to not go. If I did any mistake, then go and continue also. If I, so I will try to be solid patiently. Uh -huh. I'm not going. That is my strength. What is your weakness? It's weakness. Most of uh, my weakness is uh, uh, I will be a frank person. Right. Okay. I, I will. I will. I will Sir, frank person, like uh, that is uh, your weakness? Sir, frank. Yeah. Frankness. Okay. So the frankness uh, Achha, okay, okay, cool. You are the direct person. That yeah. directly you are talking, right? That, yeah. that is your weakness. Okay, cool. What is the difference between Power BI and SQL, Rajakar? Is a yeah, Power BI is a is a business process solution. Is a technical process. When the raw data is converted into a transformation converted from business format, mm -hmm. and the customer interact, we can send the business tool over one of the visualization. The customer see that see visualization as per company the rules. As per company for or, or is a, we can the visualization process, we can see the data of the company growth or the percentage of growth. We can see using the power BI. How power. many types of raw data are available in the market? It's if you are the raw data means the company solution. If you want to find out the last year of solution, mm -hmm. we can use that data to convert into as a power BI as a graphical visualization mode mm -hmm. to see into the, the which year last year what is the if you are, if you are seeing 2000. 22. Mm -hmm. What is the company percentage growth? Mm -hmm. We can see that as a graphical visualization. Okay. It's converted to that format. Okay, cool. So, what is the difference between Power BI data modeling and the data warehousing? Data model. Yes, most of the, the data modeling is the same. If you are, if you want to see any formation, the data modeling is mean uh, like as a fact table. There is a two two schema, three schemas there. One is a Fact table and one is a Snowflake schema and Galaxy schema. Mm -hmm. Most of companies using snow, uh, fact is a fact schema and Snowflake schema. Mm -hmm. a Snowflake schema, there is a one is a table is there. Mm -hmm. So remaining of this uh, one of the main primary key table is there. Okay. A remaining of table are counted for there. Mm -hmm. So it is a one of the is data modeling. Mm -hmm. So when only then if you do any anything as correction is for using. Mm -hmm. How to create say DAX measures? How to clear? DAX measures. Create DAX measures. Create, create. How to how create? create? Then we want to create any formula. First, we use measure. Okay. Uh, to write any formula, like a someone average using aggregation product aggregations, like a some some count average. Now, are you going to give one example to us? Yes. Are you going to create one DAX measure here? DAX measure. Yes, sure. Sir. Yep. Take your marker and please. Uh, Here, right? Using sum. Okay. So, first of all, create measure, then you write like that sum, and after the sum, and we write few percent uh, total sales. Mm -hmm.
then we find the total sales so what is it? we can do the sum is to calculate the uh, all our columns okay it will give the percent okay total okay is the aggregate function okay so how you are uh, like how you are calculating the implemented date implement calculate. implemented date and time implement date and time mm. uh if you want to find a, like a implement date is if you if you want to find out the particular if you have want to calculate last year of data mm-hmm. right the particular of data for last month mm-hmm. so we can use mtd mm-hmm. that we can use the one the formula mm-hmm. so we can find the last year what is the uh, last year 2000 january february march how much of sales happened mm-hmm. that january how much total sales mm-hmm. we can ca- calculate the using that mtd formula mm-hmm. using that mtd formula MTD. with using of mtd formula you MTD are going to create is, that right yes. are you sure and is a mtd three types qtd mtd and ytd okay what these three types are doing it's the y, ytd is meaning to find the uh, end of the end of the year solution like uh, if you are uh, if you found out the this year for least year to out to this end of the year mm-hmm. how much of sales we can find it okay this is ytd mm-hmm. If you found uh, but suppose you found to september uh, uh, like a september to up to december also okay. we can use it or we can use next year also we can calculate so we using white tail form okay so what is the uh, um, database server sql server database. what sql server is doing in the real time sql is in real time so in sql real time the database is mainly is a database management system is a one If you want first of all we create one database mm-hmm. then in the database we need to main after that we create any table mm-hmm. first we create database after that we create any table to creating that after create the tables and using the to like a like we are using create and give the one table name so i give it after the int the mode after the char as the like names and also we are given particular table mm-hmm. first we create database okay so how you are uh, written how you are written the delete query could you please write here delete query yes using delete query delete so using if we, first we using is equal to okay. delete from as a table which table we use okay and and we use where clause particular in the table if you have 10, 10 columns are there mm-hmm. uh, which row we want to delete so okay. we use where clause where clause so you are using syntax is where? delete from table name where condition where condition if you want to say id 8 id 7 given to id 7 is equal to 7 you want to delete this id 7 then then it will enter row will delete delete so what is the difference between delete and truncate the delete is a, and drop drop yes the difference between truncate and drop is a truncate we can delete the entire of the data there is a table is there mm-hmm. entire data will be deleted schema also there but schema is not Schema. deleted okay but is a de- and the drop when using the drop mm-hmm. we it will delete the entire table in is, is not showing it also it will delete entire in database also mm-hmm. we should, uh, again we cannot come back it okay. they did the permanently delete- is deleted which one truncate no it's a drop is permanently is deleted permanently deleted entire delete. data entire data table also which table we are deleting that is using drop list a table so any table say like a table here. it will delete uh, in the it will delete in the permanent in, de- in dbms is in truncate it will only delete the scheme data will deleted schema also is there in the truncate data will be deleted scheme also there, there is and the drop we will delete schema and uh, entire table entire thing will delete yes and the delete one delete one it is only for we want to delete any particular uh, row and row only particular row. We, we can use to one one by one row anything okay could you could you please write here uh, update query update query okay So update so is update table using here update table mm-hmm. like so update table you can set okay. if you want to change any for if you want to change uh, a person name mm-hmm. 
so you give the name given to the table is first one id name location like we give to one table assume it one table okay id name location we want to delete one name also we give to some name mm -hmm. so i we change it one the if id is seven there is a we want to change give it if you can give to suresh we give to footnote we change into the one name is there okay. is one ramesh there i want to change suresh okay We give the footnote, right? Okay, cool. No problem. So, could you please explain about this entire structure? What exactly happened with it? Don't write any there. Could you please explain about it? Please stand up. Yes. Yeah. Could you please explain about it? What exactly happening in the Power BI? Could you please share? Okay. Uh, push. That's it. Yeah. It is a Power Query editor. I mean, Power Query. When is that using? So, what exactly happening in that Power BI? Could you please explain about it? So, actually, I draw this one. So, could you please explain about it? So what is this one and this one, this one? What exactly happening in that? It is a Power Query editor. Okay. We when you using it going to the transformation. Okay. You want to change any table is there? If your table names are not correct, so go to the Power Query editor and first one click it and use the user header formation. Okay. Then we can change the heading, the proper heading names. Then we will change the correct heading names. Mm -hmm. In the Power Query, you can do it the key pros, mm -hmm. and also we can use a group. We can create group points. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Add conditional columns. Add conditional example column. Mm -hmm. We can do it any. We can edit in and extract the data. We okay. can change this data here. Existing already columns are there. We can change into the remaining. So 